So the question is, and this is a question I hear a lot, uh, you know, when I, a lot of time when I lecture about these topics, is why do we use the term selfish? Why not to use self-interest, given the, the stigma that the world selfish has, the fact that people view it so negatively? So first let me say, the same stigma exists to self-interest. It's, it's just a little softer because people don't usually use that term. But it's the same basic idea. Morally, it's unacceptable. But the reason we use selfish is because it's an important word. It identifies in reality an important phenomena. The idea of somebody taking care of himself. The idea of somebody placing his own interest, his own life, as his number one priority. And that word is contrasted, or that concept is contrasted, with selfless. Selfish, selfless. Selfless means, right, and, and everybody agrees on this, whether they agree with us on the definition of selfish or not, everybody agrees that selfless means not caring about yourself, not placing your own interest, placing the interest of others first, living for the sake of others. So the contrast between selfless and selfish is very, very important to that. Self-interest captures that somewhat, but it's not as condensed, it's not as clear of a concept, and you don't, that, you don't get that contrast. You don't have unself-interested or lack of self-interest. or you know What's the opposite of self-interest? It's selfless. But really, the parallel to selfless is selfish. So why do people hate, particularly intellectuals, hate the word selfish? Not because of the behavior that is commonly associated with it, but because it states clearly that you should live for your own self. Your life is the standard. Your life comes first. That's what they don't like about it. And that's why they spend a lot of time, a lot of effort throughout history in distorting it, in perverting it, and turning it into a negative term, in associating that word with bad behavior like lying, stealing, and cheating. They know how important the concept is, that's why they've distorted and perverted it. It's our job as defenders of self-interest, as defenders of human life, as defenders of an egoistic morality, to take that word and, in a sense, take that concept and clean it out of all the things that don't belong. The lying, stealing, cheating, sacrificing others to self and turn it into the clean concept that it really is. Taking care of self, placing your interests as primary in the pursuit of your own values. So uh, in pursuit of your own rational values. That's what selfish really means. That's the concept that we want to contrast with selfless. Now, in talking to people, I often start by using self-interest because I don't want them to shut off. I don't want them to turn against me immediately. So I used, if you want to call it a softer concept, but I always get too selfish because that is the essential concept that we're trying to defend. That's the essential descriptor of what it means to be an egoist, which is what the morality of rational self-interest, rational selfishness, rational egoism is all about.